All right, we've been watching Two Stars playing Zarya on the Antarctic Peninsula. This is gold, and I think it's on PC. I led the lobby of eliminations, damage, and least deaths, and still lost. What was I supposed to do as gold Zarya in this game to win? Uh, you can skip the first round. It was uh, the high ground point, and I played ball, and we won easily. Please help me take a look at the second and third round as I played Zarya. Felt like I did as much as I could, but still lost. Thanks, and appreciate your input. It's funny, because the, the name actually sounded familiar, so I actually did a search on my channel. I actually did a review for you, I think, October of last year, something like that. So it's a uh, you know, good eight, nine months ago. Um, I think it was, a, it was a ball review. I think you were platinum then. So just fun history there. Anyway, I really just want, it's actually going to be pretty quick. So the short answer is, what could you have done differently? Um, a lot, but ignoring general mechanics, if you just made slightly different decisions, this goes from being a relatively close loss to being a steamroll win. Like, like truly, like the smallest amount of decision making difference. There's two big points here. I would say number one is you are grabbing in completely unnecessary times where like there's no real reason to be throwing grab and thus you don't have it for when you actually need in a fight. And number two, is that you are dying sometimes in ways that are costing you fights. As a reminder, for King of the Hill maps, right, for control maps, you only need to win three to four fights, depending on how long the fights take, uh, to win a point, okay? So any fight that you throw is a big one, if because if you throw one, and let's say it needs three to take a point, then you just throw one-third of the chances to the enemy team, like they are, they are one-third of the way to victory, just from your choices alone. Almost every single fight that you lose has like you are a direct cause for why you lost the fight I, I think something like all but one or two of them are very clearly your fault i mean like did other people make mistakes yes but like they're very clearly something you could turn around by doing something even just a little bit differently so we're gonna we're gonna watch that through let's turn the sound down all right so we're gonna skip through. I would say that generally your tracking is very, very good. Like definitely better than your level for sure. I don't think your tracking is a, is generally an issue. You're gonna win first point. Okay, great. Right, things are things are smooth here. Okay, so after you win the first point, you're gonna push out here and then you're gonna die. Okay, so let's let's think about this right now. The second that you drop here, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose lose your team because unless they all drop with you, in which case you know people will walk up behind them and kill them. Unless they drop with you, you're immediately walking away from your team. As a general rule, on defense on this point, nobody crosses this line right here. Okay, so like, this is the farthest that you can play, and this is the farthest that you can play. Playing in this pit is no good, and you will die because the opposing team will swarm in behind you right and kill you or cut you off from your team especially when you're playing hero like zarya where you don't have mobility if you're playing like doomfist or winston or ball yeah you can you can get around a lot more but as zarya you don't have any mobility which means if you're ever out of position like you have no ability to make up for that mistake you're just gonna die so watching from above here what are you really chasing you're chasing this mortar here who is at full health just tossed her orb but she's gonna have fade in four seconds and you have zero energy right now so it's not even like you can laser her down quickly it's gonna take you three seconds of perfect tracking here to kill her yeah, you beam her down, okay, you get the kill here. But you're, see how far away from your team you are? And it's not like your team isn't trying to help you, right? Your team is being forced in by the rest of their team because they don't have a tank to stop them. And so your Ana is super out of position here. You can see that your Ana is trying to help you right now. That's the reason why you get to kill the more to begin with is because your Ana is helping. So there's no way that you can blame your team for this. Your team is trying to help you here. Right? And this is why you get the kill on the Moira. But the Genji gets this opening on the Ana because the Ana is tunnel vision trying to help you, which means the Genji is not going to get the easy kill on the Ana, which means you've now lost your main support, right? Your main healer. And which means your team is going to get continually pushed at back, right, by the Genji and the Sombra. Meanwhile, you're stuck out in the open against the Lucio, which you have no chance of killing, and the Doomfist is coming in now. Right? So Doomfist comes in, okay, you pop bubbles. The Lucio smartly is like, look, I don't need to keep pursuing the team, I'm just going to kill you. Right? Genji comes back as well, and now what seemed like a, a fun, hey look, I'll go stagger the Moira, suddenly it's a four in one situation. But you created this. Like you literally could have just stood here, AFK, and it would have been better than what you actually did. Like yeah, you got a kill, but that kill is gonna result in you and the Ana dying. And then from here, you're gonna get caught out, you're gonna die, and now obviously these four people, which includes a tank, are gonna easily steamroll your team, right? You see your team's just backing up here, and they have no chance of holding the point. This is on you. All you had to do was not chase. 
And a huge part about playing tank is understanding when can I push and when can't I push. And if you don't push at the right times, you lose. And if you push at the wrong times, you lose. And it's hard, but that's just the nature of playing tank. You just need to know how to play the map, the situation, the compositions, everything. But you are making the wrong decision here by trying to push and it's costing your team that point. All right, so, but ultimately still just one fight, okay? Perfectly capable of, t of turning this around. So we're running up here. A lot of beaming around, right? Nothing super exciting. Walking over, tracking's good. It's gonna take you a while to kill this more. I, I'm not worried about any of the micro details. I, I first of all, it's late for me, but second, I, it's just I don't think that's your problem, so I don't think I don't want to I don't want to focus on it anyway. Like obviously, like I could analyze the last 30 seconds to death for like the next 20 minutes, but I'm not going to. So we're here, right? Look, are right, you good, right? You're you're sitting in front, occupying a lot of attention. That's fine. Reminder to always right click at the end of your ammo, right? When you're down to like, you know, five ammo or so, just right click, it deals more damage than just beaming them. So, still hanging out over here. Yep, two is gonna die, great, things are going well. Zap, 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 zap. So, why did we grab? Right? So, hopefully, you've either heard from me or anybody else about the right times to pop ultimates, okay? You wanna pop ultimates in fights where the outcome is not clear, or it's going to be a loss, right? And the ultimate is going to result in the win, or put more succinctly, you wanna pop ultimates to win a fight that would otherwise not be won, or may not be won. What fight are you trying to win right now? You just killed the Doomfist. The Doomfist just spawned. He's so far away. The Doomfist is gonna be here for like another 20 seconds. There, I cannot believe that you, right, with with you know you've been playing the game for at least eight months right since since you asked for review way back there is no way you're looking at the situation and you think oh man i'm afraid this lucio genji moira sombra are going to kill us all at full health in great positions there's no way you look at this and think i'm going to lose here all you have to do is do nothing because when you are in a winning position the best solution, right? The best thing for you to do is to do literally nothing because the onus is on the enemy team to have to do something to win. You control the point, which means you control the clock right now. That means you don't have to use any resources to continue winning. Every second that goes by, you are winning the game and the enemy team is losing. So the, the, the pressure's on them to do something. So you can just wait until they actually group up as five and try a real push and then you can grab them and if you're really good you could actually stall it out a little longer and wait until the outcome is truly like oh no they actually have an advantage now i'll grab them because maybe they'll mess up their push right and that can probably happen or your team gets a pick or whatever ends up happening right and then you're like oh, i didn't even use grab i can just win the fight without it and then you grab for the next fight and you're basically guaranteed to win the point at that point there is no reason to be grabbing right now because in fact they don't even have a tank here you know, and you know that. It's not like you got distracted by the kill feed. You were part of the kill in the Doomfist. You know they don't have a tank. This is a 4v5 situation. They have zero chance of taking this. Like, you replaced all four of these players with, like, Masters level players. I still don't think they can take it against you. Right? It's just, it's way too hard to take at the point right now when you have defensive control, everybody's at full health, right? The enemy doesn't, team doesn't have any ultimates except for B. Like, they have no chance of taking this right now. All you have to do is do nothing. Literally nothing, and you're good. Right? But instead you pop grab. And not only do you pop grab, you solo grab the, the Lucio. Why him? Like I don't even I don't even know why you chose to grab the Lucio. <laughs> it's not like the Lucio, Lucio has any pick potential, right? If anything, you want to be grabbing the DPS. If you kill both both DPS here, they have no chance of capping it, even with the Doom and the supports. If you kill the Lucio, it's possible the Doomfist comes back and as a four-man, they can still push through. So I think that this is a very, very, very bad decision any way you look at it. So beaming down, okay, fine, Sarma's gone. You should be definitely backing up right now. So Genji's in, all right, we should just back up, literally just back up. Remember, all you gotta do is just stall out, all right? All right, great, Moore's gonna fade away, excellent. Beamer down, I would say, look, if she's already here, she's gonna get away. You've way too little energy, she's around the corner, you're not gonna kill her. Just focus on what's going on over here. Just immediately turn and look at, See, this is like crazy tunnel vision right now. Your team is being engaged on, the primary threat is to the left, and you're out here trying to like kill the Moira. This is like if your house was on fire and a faucet was leaking, 
and you're going to try to turn off the faucet instead of, instead of dealing with the fact that your house is on fire. <laughs> like, deal with what is the actual urgent problem right here, which is turning and dealing with this push, potentially needing to bubble a teammate, not chasing after a Moira who's already faded out and is at full health and has orb. Like, you're not going to kill this Moira, right? And now, because of this, you're caught super extended. Now you're EMP'd, right? So you have no bubbles, you have very little energy, right? You have little health because you're super extended and they're running over your team. But that's okay because this is still a winnable scenario, right? You just wait until they clump up and you look for this moment right now and I grab four of them. Even through beat, right? Beat's gonna be expiring here. I just grab four and we kill everybody. But where's your grab? This is the moment that we've been saving grab for, right? Like this is, this is why we have grab is so that we can turn a fight like this right now. But you don't have it because you wasted it to solo kill Lucio, who by the way is back. Like, you see how useless that grab was? Like, this, this is what's costing you the fight, right? This is what's costing you games. This is just terrible decision-making, right? This is, like, it, like truly, the grab got you so little value here, and now you're just stuck out here getting dust around. But still winnable, right? You got two chances left here to win this fight, to win this win this point. All right, so Somber's out here. You're trying to beam people down. Okay, great. By the way, this lineup would be so good if you could play Winston against against both your lineup right having having Ana and Zen and then their lineup being just like extremely squishy if you could play Winston this game is an easy roll <laughs> like this is the doofus is the only person here who could do anything against you so super super easy to win this one as Winston all right you come through right beating people down blah 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 you know just going along right so Sombra kills your main back just just leave right just go home right that's it just, just, just walk back and be like, okay, cool. Go back, reset, take the next fight. Sometimes people get picked and make mistakes, okay? Or the enemy team makes a good play. Like some of you don't even say it's necessarily a mistake, right? Like what if, you know, Widow lands a headshot? Is that a mistake by your team or is it a great shot by the Widow? It could be, could be one or the other or both, right? It happens sometimes. I would literally, the second that happened, I would just turn around and walk back. Because you have enough time here, right? See, you have enough time here for one more push. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna get staggered right now and I still have 44 energy, so fine. Just go back, regroup, rejoin, grab your whole team, and go back and push one more time. All right, you're gonna have two ultimates for it. You only need to win really one and a half fights here. So I, I think that you just walk back. Just don't do anything right now. You could kill two people right now, it's still not gonna be enough. All right, coalescence get fought, right? Now you've lost your Ana, and like clearly you need to just go home. Just just go home. So Genji dies. So, okay, so good, we killed one, but we lost our, we lost both supports right now and only one is getting back, you know, one just spawned, oh boy, one just spawned, uh, we lost the main, main the Ana, one just spawned and my Ana isn't here yet. So this is still a 3v4, even though you just got picked. So I think you still need to slow down. Trance has popped, okay, once trance has popped, we're committed. Now we have to run out the trance. So good, we're following it in. We have grab right here, so looking for the grab. So right now, all right, that's fine. I would just grab right now. Right, there's three people. Just grab right here, you pull all three in, right? Kill Lucio first, then kill Moira, right? Then kill Doomfist. I do is probably gonna survive, but you kill two, and that's good, right? Pop grab right now, right now. Okay, we decide we don't wanna pop grab, fine. So, we're gonna go here, right? Moira's out here. Why did we pop grab now? <laughs> like, like, again, this is absolutely killing you. So the Moira has, is at like two thirds health, okay? She pops fade. And now she's over here. So she has no fade. You have 83 energy, which now means you do what? About 160 damage per second. Why do you pop grav right now? You have full ammo. The Moira is at point blank. It's not even like your tracking is bad. Just kill her. You don't need grav here. Just kill her. Just literally just beam her down and kill her. Like, I think you bear, you kill her barely any faster here with grav than you would have killed her if you just beamed her down or even just right clicked her to death. That would have worked too. There's no reason here to be grabbing. This is a complete waste of grav, right? This is what distinguishes gold level players from platinum players, is you are just using abilities and just throwing them away. Like, it, I, this could not have been served up any easier for you. This Moira didn't even try to jump away. She literally faded right next to you. There's no reason here to be popping grav. Like, it's, it's so painful to watch because like, if you just held grav for the next fight, you're good. So, chasing a little bit. Okay, fine, you're gonna cap here, right? Burn down, get you. As a reminder, I'm sure you're probably thinking, okay, I got picked off last time. I do not want that to happen. So play safe a little bit. 
and I'm getting ready for grab. So I'm expecting blade here and maybe B, right? Because Genji hasn't bladed in a long time. Get blade killed me before. So I, if I can either get an early grab on Genji, careful deflect, or I can grab him after he blades, then we're good, right? And then probably it's a win. Because I know that my Zen doesn't have trance. I would be tracking this the whole time. I don't have trance to, to stop because my Zen tranced in with me, right? In order for us to win the previous fight. So I'm just looking for the grab. So you could look for a grab locations, like frankly, anywhere here, but like one of the options to grab against the wall here, pull people in as they go through this doorway and the top left. Because the time is against them. They have to do something here. I ignore the Doom. Yep, I'm going to right call. Don't shoot the Doom. B goes off. That's fine. I start backing up. I don't want to play here. I don't want to play anywhere over here. I want to play all the way in the back side of the point because I'm waiting for the beat to fade. Every second that beat goes by, it loses like 125 health per second. So the longer the fight goes on, the better it is. I just want to stall this out. Just, just stall it out. Just, just back up, back up, back up, right? Stay alive. And I would save bubbles at this point, not for me, but for my team. Because I'm not in any danger of dying. There's no way you look at this lineup and be like, oh yeah, Doomfist, Genji, Moira, like Lucio, they're gonna kill, they're not gonna kill you. <laughs> this is a very low damage lineup. They're gonna kill your supports. They're gonna kill your DPS. So don't be using bubbles on yourself right now. Save it for your team because they're 100% gonna be diving your team. Only if they commit on me would I pop bubbles, but most likely they're gonna bypass you and go for your backline. See how the Doofus is not attacking you right now? I turn and be like, who is he attacking? Oh, the Hanzo? Bubble the Hanzo. This is what you save bubbles for. Now your Hanzo dies. Little things, little basic things are killing you. But this is still winnable right now. Just grab, just grab everybody. <laughs> Literally just grab everybody, at least four of them right here, grab, right? And then you win, but you don't have grab because you threw it away. You could grab right there. When the Genji bladed right now, still winnable right now. I grab the ground, right? Pull him in, beam him down, great. Go in, trade out for the back line. But you can't do that here. You're honest about to have nano, right? Like, you, you just don't put yourself in winning positions, right? Every single fight in this round, other than the one where your May got picked in the back by the Sombra, was your fault. Like, that's what I really emphasize. That it was you that threw this. Every single one of those fights, you threw it. You could have done something so small that would have changed the entire course of that round. All right, so let's look at last round. We're pushing up. Great, okay, fine. So, one thing to think about when you're playing Zarya is, do I use the bubbles for me or do I use the bubble for my team? Generally speaking, you're using the bubble for, bubbles for you. But when the opposing team is playing Dive, as this lineup is, right, playing Doomfist, Lucio, Sombra, Genji, you're usually going to be using bubbles on teammates because you're never going to be the Dive target. So I'm going to get energy and save my teams by bubbling them. So in this situation, I don't even necessarily want to off-angle here. I mean, like, I get that generally it's a good angle, but I want to stay close enough that I can't that I always have LOS on my team. So when they engage, I can turn and bubble. The problem is, let's say the Hanzo gets dove here. You need a second to get around the corner. And if he goes to the right, you're screwed. You need a second to look at him. So I would just club up here, right? Play with everybody, go up, like try to take this corner. Okay, they start diving, great, bubble the Hanzo, right? Fight it out, bubble, bubble Zen after that, right? Or whatever they end up continuing on after the bubble. So like understanding how to play Zarya versus dive is really, really important because when this engage happens, Right? And now your base died. But you could have saved here if you were just standing over here, right? I would have heard the hack. I turn, I'm like, oh, she's in danger? And I pop bubble. And she can't block right now because she's hacked. But that's what you have bubbles for. You have two bubbles right now. See? It would have both gotten you energy and saved your maze life. But the problem is you don't know how to play Zarya against this lineup. You don't know how to play Zarya against dive. Like, you don't really know what you're doing here on Zarya. And I don't know, it's interesting because I remember checking back. I don't think Zarya was one of your original heroes that you were playing. So it's quite possible that you're relatively new to Zarya compared to like Ball, for example. But like, it doesn't feel like you know what you're doing. And that's a problem because how can you expect to win if you don't know what you're doing? So this is like, this is really killing you here is now you're down a player. So I again, I do not expect to take this, right? I just drop back, right? I encourage them, I, you know, I kind of, coax them, tempt them to shooting me, get some energy, go back, right? Get some more energy, go back, wait. Sombra's back, I got two bubbles and I got, you know, 40, 50 energy. Now I push in. That's the goal here, right? Just play slow. I do not want to fight this right now. I just want to back up. I just want to back up because I don't get picked here, right? If I get picked here, I just stack, continue to stack. My Hanzo's nuts and killed too. Okay, great. Now we can push. 
right? But obviously you, you were absolutely no part of that other than the fact that the DPS engaged on you, which is when they decide to lose. So right now, what do I do? I bubble because my, my, my Hanzo's low. So if you didn't know, Genji, right, with dash and right click and melee can do 161 damage with no headshots, right? With headshots, uh, he can do 252 damage, is that right? Right, 81 times two is 162, plus 50 is 212, right? 212 plus 30 is 242. He can do 242 damage at, if he if he dashes and, and does the right click melee combo, right, which would be bonkers. But I think 150 is a good bet for, for they are insta kill territory. You need to bubble the Hanzo right now. <laughs> you have plenty of time to do so. You hear the attacks, right, right. You heard the jump from the Genji. I hear the Shuriken. I'm looking at him right now. He's dead center of my screen. You can see it right now. Bubble, 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 and you don't do it. And so Hanzo dies right after killing two. And the Genji gets reset while you head bubble. What are you even doing on Zarya if you're not getting basic saves like this, right? Like your impact just isn't there. Like the Genji's just killing people for free around you. So also from here, you're beaming him down. You're by the way, out of range right now. I can already tell, like, you know, when you, when you play Zarya a lot, you know how, how far the beam goes. I didn't even need to look at the lack of hit marker. I knew right away that you were not gonna close enough. So you are not in range right now, so you're just wasting ammo for nothing. So finally, he dashes up. Great. That means he dies now. I just turn, look at him, because he's discorded. He dies right now. I could not possibly do anything else other than kill this Genji, other than bubbling my Zenyatta. Right? But if I'm turning right now, why am I hitting bubble on myself? What are you bubbling yourself for? This is the second save you missed. <laughs> and, and... You're not killing the Genji. The Genji has no escapes, just kill him. The Genji's gonna live here? Oh man, the Genji just barely dies. I honestly, I think he could have juked here longer and then managed to stay alive longer. Like if he just if he just sat here for a little bit, he might've been able to live longer. But like, you're just not doing anything, <laughs> right? Everybody just dies around you because you're not doing anything. But that's uh, finally an okay bubble, right? I think that it, the problem is that by the time you bubble here, she like clearly has, has like kind of broken like the moment of death, like of imminent death, I would say. I don't know if I really want to spend time to explain this, but I, let's, let's just suffice to say that when I look at this, by the time you look right now, I can already tell the Moira is not going to die because I've heard the Doomfist shoot off all his shots. So he's not going to, he's not going to get the kill here anymore. Even if he landed at melee, he's not going to get the kill. We're walking in. Now I would bubble the Moira again. <laughs> Cause I can I can hear the other Moira coming up, but you killed Doom, fine. All right, we're just chilling here. Yeah, definitely try to back up here, play back set a point, and this is good, right? Just playing slow here. You still got bubbles, you're good. All right, this is fine. So I think you're missing, uh, yeah, your Hans was showing up. So just slow down here, right? You're, you're missing two, you have control of the point, just slow down. Right? Just slow way down. Remember the lesson I told you earlier, which is when you are con control the point, you don't need to force anything. There are situations where you still want to force the fight. A um, uh, very common one is when they have ults and you do not. But generally speaking, you don't want to force any fights right now. Just play slow. Right? You have grab, just play slow. Force them to engage on you. Then you can counter grab them. You're good. Right? Or if they're clumped up and you know you can win the fight with grab, go ahead and grab early. But generally speaking, just, just chill out. Do I want to be grabbing right now? Like, you know the Genji's dead and still was respawning. He's still really far away. This is the same problem as we saw with the Lucio in the, in the previous round, which is why are we grabbing right now when we're not actually an imminent threat of losing? Look what's going on here, right? You have one, two, three, four, five healthy heroes here. The enemy team has one, two, three heroes here. Why are you grabbing? You're grabbing too early, way too early, right? And like, yeah, okay, you get the kill, but now you don't have the ability. Oh my God, Lucio just walks into it. 
It's like, yeah, we like win this fight, but like now all you do is stagger for like another 15 seconds versus having them all group up, right? And waiting for them to all group up and then actually pushing in and potentially grabbing and killing them all and burning and maybe using some of their ultimates or whatever it ends up being. Like you're just grabbing too early, way too early. All right, playing back here. That would be a, a great moment to grab if you could have gotten it before the Genji stepped up, but. Just play, all right, Coalescence here, that's fine. Uh, another great moment to grab, you could just grab like up here where the Genji's not gonna be able to deflect it and just kill both of them. But with Coalescence already popped, I don't think you needed to. Yeah, I think you're gonna walk in, you're gonna flush him out. All right, so B gets popped, but all three are right here. I would still just grab him. Just grab him right now and kill Lucio. Lucio's still low enough that he's gonna die through this. I would 100% grab this. Because if you grab this, not only can you kill Lucio, but the Doomfist can't do anything because he's grabbed. He's not going to die because he's going to block. That's fine. Just kill the Lucio. Work on the Moira. Moira's going to fade backwards. And if Doom wants to engage 1v4, go ahead. That's fine. We're still going to win this. But you definitely shouldn't let them cap here. What the heck? Like, you get 300 health? Like, I would stay on the point. Like, you're either going to die or you're going to you're gonna get healed through it. Like, you standing slightly to the left is not going to change how much damage is coming at you right now. I think it's 100% a mistake there to let them cap. So, all right, we're pushing in right now. You're too far away to beam anybody. So, it's, uh, it's I don't want to get into the micro details of the bubbles. All right, great. Genji pops blade. I need to walk back and figure out who's blading. It's the Zen. All right, fine. So I don't need to bubble anybody. All right. I would, by the way, not be beaming the Doomfist and I would turn and look to see who else is. Like, just generally don't beam the tank, right? Like, you can, you know there's gotta be somebody else over here. You saw them, you hear them, right? The Moira is like right behind you. Just beam the Moira right now. Beam the Doomfist isn't gonna do anything. The Moira is literally point blank next to you and you're beaming beam the Doom. I, I, like, if you watch from third person, I feel like it, you can see how, how like inefficient you are with your time. Like, you're right now you are beaming a teammate. <laughs> because you just have the beam just held down. Like, look, look at this. This is not good. This is not what higher ranked play looks like. Like, you just need to clean this all up. All right, go in. Yeah, all right, beam them where it, good. So again, don't worry about the Doom. It, it is not your job to deal with Doom. I'm gonna make this like super clear. You basically can never kill a Doom unless the Doom allows you to kill him, right? Like, Doom can always choose to escape from you if he wants to. All right. Unless he's like hacked, slept, or whatever, and even then, like all scenarios, you can still easily escape. Generally speaking, it is not your job to deal with the doom. Let your team deal with the doom. Your job is to kill everyone else, right? And to do bubbles at the right times. All right. So, as a note here, when you start pushing this, you know the Moira is here. The Moira is at half health. Just kill the Moira. <laughs> like force fade here. Like there's no reason the doom should die here. Okay, so Doom goes, Mercy's here, beam the Mercy, good, excellent, Mercy completely messes up. I think this grab is reasonable, right? There's two heroes here, but for the record, I don't think that I would have grabbed because I can tell the Mercy's gonna die anyway, right? Because I can already see that the Mercy's messed up. So you see how she's lost her Guardian Angel? So she can't fly away for two seconds. I still have plenty of ammo, 26 ammo, right? 30 energy, I'm pretty sure I'd kill her here without grab. So I don't think I'd grab here, I think I'd just kill her and see what happens after that. But I don't think that is strictly necessary at your level to be that efficient. I would say at Masters Plus, for sure, I think you need to not grab this. But I think at, at Gold, Platinum, Diamond, I think you can get away with grabbing this. All right, just use ZMP for who knows what reason. All right, again, don't beam the Doomfist, beam the supports. All right, support, DPS, whatever, anybody that's not that. All right, Coalescence is popped, it's definitely gonna be aimed at somebody. So just look around and be like, okay, Doom dies, great. Who is he? Who is she coalescing, right? That's fine, yeah, bubble that if you want to. Uh, unfortunately, that, that Mora dies. See, the problem is I don't really want to bubble the, the Mercy, the May, because May has block already. I'd be more concerned about bubbling my Moira first. I think she bubbled Moira here, yeah. So the Moira's gonna die here, which is unfortunate. I think could have saved here with the bubble. Because now you don't have a main healer, which means now you're gonna need to carry through mechanics. Yeah, you just don't have it. If you had grab here, by the way, grab would have been massive. All right. Once she starts, once she starts pushing right there, 
and just turn and grab right now. Assuming the Moira's not quick enough to fade out of it, you get the Genji and you get the Moira, and then that's a fight winner. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, obviously you have no ability to win this from here. There's way too many people and you know you don't have a healer here. Alright, so we're gonna stop there. Short video. In summary, number one, don't die for silly reasons. <laughs> like obviously, but I, I think we illustrated like especially that, that first death on the first on the second point, first one we watched. That death was like inexcusable. There was no reason for you to do it. that. That death is like comparable to like if you as Zarya played all the way over here. Like if you go past the Mega, you are definitely throwing. And I think if you're playing here, you're sometimes throwing. Like you need to understand where you can safely play, and you did not have that feeling on Zarya on that map to understand what you could or could not get away with. So number one, avoid silly deaths. Number two, grabs. Right? Did you really need to grab? If not, you made a mistake. Because grab is an incredibly high impact ultimate, you need to pop it at the right times. And number three is making sure to bubble teammates, especially when you're playing against dive versus using them selfishly because you're gonna struggle to get energy and we saw how low energy you were consistently while your team dies around you. Okay, we're gonna hold there. Hopefully it's helpful.